Good evening, builders. So this is the Crow Summer right here. What I'm going to do is the first part of, hopefully it's going to be a pretty big series that we can do, uh, but I want to do an analysis of a completed Gundam. So no customs, you know, no like, oh, we're just going to look at these three parts and then, you know, whatever we get the other part, we'll get, you know, start looking at it later. I want to actually obtain an entire kit uh, and look at everything or if it's in the banner that we could you know hopefully take a look at it right there uh, but for the most part I absolutely want to uh, do more analysis on a fully developed uh, Gundam and then after we take a look at its bare kind of like necessities then we can say hey what can we do to actually customize it and make it a little bit better so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, well the first kit I'm going to look at is going to be the age one Titus so we're going to take a look at the Age 1 Titus, easily one of my favorite mobile suits. I actually have uh, the Master Grade, I got rid of the High Grade once I got the Master Grade, but I still have the Robot Namashi. Absolutely love the Age 1 Titus, I think it's a really cool mobile suit. It, to me, it is one of the most powerful melee suits that is non like G Gundam. G Gundam kind of goes into a whole different realm when it comes to melee attacks. Uh, but the G Gundam, uh, not the G Gundam, the Age 1 Titus, I do believe this is probably maybe the second strongest melee suit in this game. Uh, probably second to uh, the uh, Barbados. I do think just because the Barbados already naturally comes at a 4 star rarity, it just probably has better stats overall, but that's something I can look into. But yeah, the looks of it, it is beautiful. Absolutely like it. Uh, now, the one kicker here is the uh, the Age 1 head and the Age 1 body is actually uh, Age 1 Titus both. So that's kind of odd. You would probably expect it to be just age one normal, uh, just because they are going to be sharing all the same core. You only get one age core. Uh, so I, that's kind of weird, but I guess because they wanted to tether the traits uh, to this mobile suit in particular, they were like, hey, call this one the Titus and put you know traits and EX move on these. So I did not power up mine like at all. It's just kind of, like I've just kind of naturally leveled up throughout the uh, the course of the entire like actual series. The only thing I did actually level up that you can see is the fist module, and it's it's fairly low. I didn't really power it up too much. Um, I just well actually all I did was uh, increase it. The level stays the same, so that's actually a really good thing. Uh, but let's just take a look at the head. Now when talking about the actual head unit. I uh, can't really speak too much on the stats because I don't really have much to really work off of this time. This is me really coming to this game kind of fresh, so I haven't done an actual sit-down analysis of how it compares to other mobile suits. But what we, what we can see here, the armor is going to be really good for this head. Um, now, the melee attack is going to be very low, but you get good defenses. Uh, the, shot, the, uh, the shot attack is actually really good as well. That's something I don't really know why they would increase the shot attack and not the melee attack but hey it kind of is what it is but obviously it's beam and physical resistance on the head is going to be you know pretty low but hey it's the head of a gundam so you can kind of like understand it's a smaller component now let's look at its ex skill but first we're going to max value every single thing because uh it, you can just really see what the end game of these straight uh skills and traits going to be so protection b category is going to be a buff uh effect time is 51 seconds at max that's really good it's almost a full minute and I mean, these rounds are only going to be lasting five minutes uh, at max, so that's really good. Cooldown is going to be 30, 30, uh, 33 seconds, but the first time you enter the battle, it's going to be only seven seconds. That is going to be amazing. So you get into the battle, you can easily pop your project, uh, protection beta and just go right into meleeing. Uh, raises ally physical resistance by 49. Now, I I'm not too sure. this. It doesn't say self or ally. It just says raises ally, so... Uh, what this looks like is you're raising your, your two allies' uh, health instead of yours. So this is still really good if you're doing the like free missions and the uh, the event whenever it comes out. But with the 1v1, this is not going to be good whatsoever. Um, I mean, I would probably opt out of this head and maybe look into trying getting something that's uh, probably in the same realm. But the thing that you're going to have here is high firepower and Gundam type. So word tags... If you get five of an actual word tag, so let's say you get five uh, firepower, then the actual effect is going to activate. So raises melee and shot attack 5% while active. Super good. I mean, 5% may not seem a lot, but this is something that it just it's going to give you a little bit of an extra boost because some people probably are not really looking at these word tags in the beginning of the 1v1 arena. So this is something you want to capitalize on very soon. Also, Gundam type raises armor 5% and physical resistance 5% while active. 
amazing. So this is something that kind of aligns a little bit more with a defender type. A defender type uh, being the license, and we'll talk about that a little bit later when it comes to what license should you get for this mobile suit. But a defender would actually increase its HP and defense. Uh, so this is something you can really have a, a, a huge benefit with if you are a actual Gundam type uh, with the word type. Okay, now looking at the core body. Uh, once again, this is uh, the age Titus, but it's still the age one normal. It's kind of weird still. Uh, but yeah, looking at its stats, uh, you can definitely see the defenses, the melee and shot defenses are super high, and the armor is really high. And this time around, you actually are going to be getting a melee attack boost. So that's really good. No shot attack boost, and the beam resistance and physical resistance is still, still fairly low. So that's going to be something you really need to keep in mind is... Uh, maybe you need to actually increase your resistances a little bit more, uh, you know, with other means, you know, if you're going to have different weapon types. Uh, so, yeah, that's going to be something you want to look at. Now, another thing I wanted to point out that I didn't point out earlier, you see the perimeters and where it says growth and it has like two little, like little figures. So, because it says two, it's going to be a medium growth rate with these uh, perimeters. Now, with the uh, parts traits, this is going to be a, th a three. Three is going to be very hard. So it goes one, two, and three. Three being the hardest, one being the easiest in, in terms of growth. So it's going to take you a long time to grow the parts trait because you're going to have to use another age Titus body to you know upgrade with this suit and you actually get those parts increases. Now, when looking at the part trait, we're going to take a look right here. So when attacking with uh, physical strong melee power, boosted 25%. So what that means is your physical strong attacks, which it should be the ending to your actual attack, not like the start, not just the regular jabs. It should be the stronger uh, attacks that you usually do the finisher with. Um, that is going to be boosted 25%. So that's a lot. That's massive damage that you're going to be dealing to these mobile suits, especially some of the ones that are going to be speed types. Because if you do not know, this is um, power. This is mainly a power type suit, and power beats su uh, speed. So that's like the attribute kind of weakness and strength, kind of like uh, rock, paper, scissors. So for word tag, you are going to have high firepower and Gundam tag once again. So if these are what you're going to be kind of like looking towards, then this is going to be good because you already got two because of the head and now this one. So now we're taking a look at the age Titus arms. This is actually the start of what you're really going to want when it comes to the uh, the word tags. You see close combat raises armor 5% and melee attack 5% while active. So you're getting the best of both worlds. This is something that like you're going to be in on the melee obviously. You're not you, I mean unless you're going to equip yourself with some range attacks, it's not really going to be helpful but you're going to be in on the enemy. So you're going to want not only strong melee attack to actually deal the damage, but you're also going to want massive defense because you're going to be taking hits. There's no way the enemy is just going to allow you to plummel him to death. Uh, so you're going to need something that is going to be able to protect you, and that is going to be great HP, and it's going to be great defenses with resistances. Now let's take a look at the EX skill. The EX skill being Beam Lariat. So it's a beam melee. That's actually a key thing you got to learn. Beam melee. Because there's a difference between beam or you know, just basically like energy type of melee and physical melee. So this is beam and you got something like the mace or an actual sword like the Barbados sword. That's going to be a physical melee attack. So there's going to be two different stats right there. Uh, but you got piercing which is going to be a D rating. That's going to be pretty bad. You're going to want something that's going to be more aligned with B or A. Uh, then you got power, which is going to be B+. Plus. That's not too bad. Uh, would have liked to see that be an A because this is the tightest that we're talking about. But regardless, hey, B+, plus is not going to be too bad for a signature uh, EX skill. Now, the cooldown is going to be 30 seconds, which is super fast. 30 seconds, I mean, you're, you're going to be get, you're going to be pulling off a lot of these attacks throughout the entire battle. And then the first time is going to be 8 seconds wait. So pretty much right at the start, 8 seconds, bam, you can go ahead and tag up this actual uh, EX uh, skill and just hit up your opponent. So for the parameters, you are going to have a pretty decent armor. Uh, your melee attack is going to be the highest thing. Well, it's going to be matching with the melee defense and shot defense. Uh, the beam resistance and the physical resistance is still going to be super low, so that kind of sucks. But you get a little bit of a shot attack. So um, I need to look a little more into this, but I'm pretty sure your shot attack is going to be uh, helping your beam lariat. Okay, so let's take a look at the legs real quick. Uh, basically, with the perimeters, you're going to have really good defenses right there with the uh, 1145 each. 
Beam is beam like the resistance resistances is going to be really low as well. This time around, you are going to have low both melee and shot attacks going to be uh, pretty much tied. So that is actually unfortunate. Uh, the armor is going to be 559, so that's going to be a pretty good average to be honest. Now the word tags, you are getting high firepower and close combat once again. And the EX skill, Archer, Hatcher, Beta. So this is going to be a debuff. Now the effect time is going to last 51 seconds on the field. That is a long, that's almost an entire fifth of the entire battle. So that's really awesome. The cooldown is going to be 33 seconds with a first time 7 seconds. So you pop this, and to my knowledge, in my mind, this is how it's going to go. You pop that, by time the effect is done, you can actually already pop another one. So you can constant like this is just how my mind's working. I haven't actually tried this uh, effect, and obviously with lesser amount of uh, if you're not at max of ten, the cooldown everything's gonna be a little bit different. But this is pretty interesting. I wonder if this can actually work in the battle. So reduce shot attack of all enemies by twenty four percent. That's really good. So if you're just like at a distance, this is something. I mean, you got seven seconds in the beginning to pop this off. So you pop this as soon as you can. And then you roll into the actual melee because they're gonna—they're probably gonna shoot you. You know, you have your your rushing ability that you're just gonna go right in. But if they're firing beams at you, this should be able to—I mean, 24% reduction. That's gonna be really good. So hopefully that can you know, really just get rid of a lot of that excess damage that you would have took otherwise. And lastly, we're gonna take a look at the backpack. So the backpack max value. Uh, everything's looking pretty good. The armor is obviously going to be pretty much the same. You got melee defense, uh, shot defense, which is going to be the same um, from you know, a couple of the other ones. And yeah, your resistance and your attacks are going to be pretty low. But let's take a look at the parts trait. So the parts trait, when attacking with physical melee power, boosted 25%. So this is really good. This goes aligned with the uh, the head part, whereas like with the strong melee attack, you get the uh, the boost. This one is just the basic melee power. So I think this might actually boost up the strong one as well because this is a blanket. This is like all melee is going to be boosted. So that's going to be fairly interesting. And then word tag, high five power, close combat. Now, two other things uh, that we need to take a look at is one going to be the fist module. This is not necessarily tethered to the Titus. This is kind of like its own thing. So you need to have the fist module because you otherwise you're going to either use the claw module or some kind of other weapon so in order to use the fist this is what you're going to need so i did power this up a little bit but let's take a look at the max value um it's really good the melee attack being in the thousands that's pretty fantastic um otherwise all the attack the defenses are going to be just non-existent um the armor is going to be very low, uh, but not as low as the resistances. So these resistances are going to be horrible, but you got to keep in mind, this uh, fist module, I pretty much leveled up all the way from a white part, from a, a one star. So it's obviously not going to be better if I got like maybe a natural four star uh, or you know whatever higher level fist module. But I was really impatient and I was like, let me just get one to a uh, three star level you know, pretty quickly. Now the EX skill for this one is going to be Burning Fist. So this is going to be a physical melee, which is really good. Uh, piercing is D, horrible. The power is going to be C negative, horrible, C minus. Uh, cooldown 21 seconds. This is like the lowest cooldown we've seen. And at first time is going to be six seconds. So this is something like, yeah, the damage is not going to be that great, but you can get these off in a more rapid state. So you don't have to constantly wait, uh, whether it be like 33 seconds, 50 seconds, 21 seconds you're gonna be sh just shooting burning fist constantly so that's gonna be really good uh but this little ability that it has charge through enemies in front of you with your fist lower hit enemy gunplus melee defenses by 14 percent um i don't know if it's like it's this percentage uh decrease only applies once you uh do the attack and it's like that was only for the attack or if it's like hey we hit the enemy now the debuff is in effect, um, and you can like kind of like follow up with an attack with just basic melee. I don't think that's going to be the case because it would have had like a time duration. It wouldn't be just like you know lowers uh, hit enemy gunplus melee defenses by 14%. So I'm I'm guessing this just in incorporate with the attack, and it, and the debuff ends when the attack ends. Now for word tag, I do have close combat and four computers. Uh, close combat is my fifth one, so now I do have that one active. Now for computers, I'm not interested in that at all because it raises all perimeters by one percent. 
Um, and it says computer category gets an extra 3% boost. So if you're in a terrain that is more computer based, kind of like, I'm pretty sure like the final battle, uh, how it's kind of like very like computer and digital, uh, you'll get that 3% boost. But I don't want to boost when it's relied on the terrain. I want to make sure that whatever terrain I'm going to be in, I'm going to have some kind of stat boost. And honestly, having a 1% um, is not that great. So if I'm in like a desert terrain, having a 1% on everything is not really that that good. I kind of want to be more focus oriented. And the last thing we're going to take a look at is going to be the pilot. So I'm not really too worried about the max value. I mean, we'll still put it on, but I'm kind of more, uh, you know, wanting to know about his fighting stance. So right now, uh, you do have in fighter, out fighter, and defender as like your three main ones you want to look out for. So with end fighter, end fighter is going to be combat job that boosts close range attacks, double tap to step, and unleash a devastating finishing move. Cannot guard, but enables you to boost the license gauge instead. So um, I'm not really too sure exactly what the end fighter uh, tab does. I, I never really played with uh, any of these like you know licenses, and as much as I would love to try these out, I wish this game had like a training mode to where I can like do a lot of testing without using energy. But the only way to do an effective training mode is if you go to a very low energy cost mission. So that kind of sucks and I'm not really interested in uh, doing that. Uh, but I will be showing y'all at the end of this video exactly uh, this mobile suit and the mo like the moves and everything. Now for Outfighter, Outfighter is a combat job that boosts close range attacks. Double tap to step and unleash a devastating finishing move. Includes an auto guard function. So this is really good. Um, I'm probably going to lean more towards Outfighter just because of the fact that um, it does boost the close range attacks, which is going to be fantastic. Uh, it, it's still going to have a finishing move, but also it's going to include an auto guard function. The other one really just boosts the actual license tab. So I'm going to try with all three of these to actually see like which one's going to be better. But for the most part, Outfighter is kind of looking uh, more than likely your better bet. And lastly, we have Defender, which is going to be really good. Uh, a job specializing in defense. Raises HP and defenses and lets you guard in all directions. Includes an auto guard function. So if you really want a, uh, a mobile suit that's going to be a just straight up Defender type, this suit can make, it, it can do that role, I, I believe. But I, I do think with the two traits, uh, with the 25% increase in both uh, strong and all melee attacks, I kind of want to focus a little bit more on the fighting stances, but this can be good to make up for the weaknesses and the beam resistances. So, um, I mean, having Defender and you can have that Auto Guard, that's actually pretty good. So, if you're just kind of like stagnant, um, you know, or being stunned, I'm pretty sure that's when it'll kick in. Uh, but if you're like moving, a, like if you're moving about and like shooting something or doing that, I'm pretty sure that's not how it works. But we'll definitely take a look. Now, another thing I want to touch on is going to be some of his weaknesses. So long range mobile suits are probably going to be your biggest crush because they can keep you at bay. They can keep moving around the map and just shooting any kind of beams, you know, just spamming everything that they, that they have. Regardless if it's doing a little bit or, or a lot of damage to you, you're still not in, you're not in there. So you can try and dash, maybe go through some of those beams uh, if it's not going to stagger you. But for the most part, long range is going to be a obstacle. Um, but hey, you, I mean, you're going to have to try and, you know, make do what you have. Now this game does have the rock, paper, scissors, so if you're going against a technical mobile suit, they will be doing more damage to you because technical beats power. So it, especially if they're if they're a technical long range, you're going to be in a very, very bad position. But if they're a long range um, speed attacker, then you're actually in a good position because you're going to be able to do double, well, more damage to them. I don't know the actual stat increase if it's like a 1.25 or if it's a 1.5, but I'll definitely look into that. And lastly, it's any other mobile suits that are just better melee attackers. Like, they can take your hits and deal out more damage. If that's the case, then you are going to be in a lot of trouble. Um, I think Barbados might be your biggest obstacle because uh, Barbados just looks like it's a, it's a bigger meta than the Age 1 Titus. But uh, honestly, I have full belief in the Titus. I think it's got, it can actually go far in the meta. So we'll definitely see. All right, so we're in. Um, definitely going to show you a little bit of the Titus. So, hey, move, movement is really good. He's very fast, very agile. So I'm kind of tanking all this. This is actually, uh, I mean, this is a low mission. But as you've seen, I'm only um, 4,000. So uh, my, my combat power being only 4,000 is around the same requirement uh, in here. So... 
I mean, these attacks are going to be really good. And we're just going to get in there and stagger him and just lay down the pipe. So I want to go ahead and leave some of these up because I want to let my infighter charge. Um, now I can show you the buff. So protection B, this would be for other allies. Um, obviously, that's not going to be for us. Now we got this right here. So this is... I'm not really too sure exactly what's that, what's that doing because that's replacing the actual guard function. Um, so it might be... I don't know. I don't know what that is. I'm going to have to look that up. But there we go. So now we have our in fighter mode active. And let's see how much damage we're doing. We got 47, 50, 50. 50, 50. All right, so we're pretty good. Now I want to try out the burning attack. Well, so without the actual boost. Hold on, let me. So without the boost, drastically lower. We went from 48, 50 to like 13, 27. So I'm going to do the burning fist. Piercing damage was really good, so um, I need to show the double lariat, but... Alright, so after that battle, you do see that like there's pretty good difference in uh, attack. So that actual mission required at minimum uh, 6,000 know, combat power. We was at about a 4,000, 4, uh, 424, but you know it, it's not really going to make too much of a difference. Um, it, it's pretty much on par. Now, obviously, you're not supposed to have any kind of, like, actual beam weapons or even a shield. It's going to look really funny. But you know what? Hey, we're not here for the aesthetics. We're here for the actual meta. So I'm going to look around for what can be really good. So the parts traits for the new Gundam's beam, uh, beam rifle, is going to be when armor is 40% or more, enemy strong melee power reduced 18% super damn good it's like this it's like this gun was made for the titus so if you are going to be wanting um you know just like a really good defender this is going to be good because it's going to be able to debuff other enemies so that's awesome that's something you're going to want to equip and that's what i'm going to do right now now let's also look at a shield we're going to want a really good shield to kind of you know complement the rest of this mobile suit so looking at all this, um, I mean, I don't, I don't really have any good shields at all. Um, I have not been lucky to pull any kind of um, good, you know, three or four star shields. So we're going to take a look at what we got. Uh, EX skills. I'm actually good with EX skills. I don't really want missile launchers, to be honest. Um, this one's okay. So let's take a look at the parts trait. With power attribute cell, strong melee damage taken reduced by three. That's pretty good. So we are a power attribute. So getting strong melee damage reduced by three, um, taken reduced by three, I don't know if that's like a, a three stat point or if that's like three actual damage. Um, that doesn't really seem that great on the surface, but let's see, we got offense hack. Uh, nah, we don't really want that. So as of right now, these are not going to be good items, but let's still just go ahead and throw one on. I'm going to want, let's just get the anti-beam shield. So we're going to get that on and let's take a look at how ridiculous it's going to be. So yeah, this is going to look pretty ridiculous, but you know what? It's not going to be, well, at least the gun won't be there when we actually get into the melee battles. So one thing I, I do want to touch on is that the de the little protection buff is not going to be good uh, in the arenas with 1v1 coming out. So, I mean, it's kind of just there. So this is actually hard mode, um, I'm, I'm definitely going to be taking a lot more damage, but let's take a look at the beam lariat, going to be really powerful. Uh, and I'll just basic attacks overall, they're not doing too good in hard mode, but this is actually much less. Um, so this is just, I think around 7,000. So yeah, not looking too good. But, hey, we have a beam rifle now that's actually really good. So we can kind of just, like, cover uh, some of our bases. So there we go. Burning Fist it does some decent piercing damage. Let me try and see just if we're going to take any reduction damage. No, it's all going to be the same. So there we go. We got finishing moves, which is really good. If we could just spam that, just keep spamming your finishing moves. There you go. So we're going to activate our little end fighter ability. It's going to be doing some good damage. And this is going to be your ideal time to go ahead and use any of your EX abilities. Just mow down the targets. 
and they're gonna they're really gonna recover fairly uh, quickly. I think I do have them at like level two right now. And look, you're still attacking while they are on the uh, the ground, so. Look, and then, oh, let's try that again. Ah, uh, see, I'm, I'm overheated. But yeah, it looks like you could just constantly keep attacking them while they're on the ground. So, we're almost there, but yeah, overall, I mean, you can definitely hold yourself up with just one mobile suit being the tightest in hard mode. Uh, so I think that speaks volumes when you're, like, faced up against maybe a little bit more of a rough competition and sidestep out of that let's do our lariat <laughs> i just stand right in front of him so yeah um so far i mean i'm really looking forward to trying out the titus i think if you really want a solid melee suit this is going to be one of the good ones i know uh rose gundam is is going to be fairly good um but I think with just having the Titus there as kind of like a, a more rogue, it may not be stronger, but it's going to catch people off guard. But hey, definitely do what you can uh, with whatever you you know you have. So if you don't have all the Titus and you only have like parts, maybe still you use it to you know just see what you can uh, actually accomplish with a power mobile suit that's melee oriented. Maybe combine it with the Rose Gundam or, or Barbados parts. See exactly how it looks. But, hey guys, that's it for me. I want to just show you uh, some of the actual Titus mobile suit. I think it's going to be great. I'm going to be using it whenever the arena comes out. So, I'll be seeing you guys on the field. Well, I guess your AI suit on the field. But, that's it for me, guys. I'll be seeing y'all later. Bye-bye.